After spending countless hours in 2020's excellent Deep Rock Galactic with friends on my Xbox, I was excited when I learned of the follow-up game in the same universe, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. And boy oh boy, I was not disappointed one bit, as the frantic pacing leading to speed decision making with swarms of alien bugs breathing down my neck led me to repeatedly delve into the caves asking for more. What's not to love when you've got danger, darkness and dwarves? My name is Roby and here is my review of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is a single player, top down, survival like auto shooter, now say that 10 times, similar to games like Vampire Survivor, where you take on hordes of lethal enemies, complete simple objectives and either pick up or level up upgrades. In this game though, it's lethal alien bugs of all kinds in the subterranean regions of the planet Hoxes. Galactic Survival was released in Early Access on February 14th of 2024, and for an Early Access game, it is very polished with tight, engaging game loop. In my hours spent playing the game, I only ran into one single bug when entering a drop pod uh, during extraction. Now, I was initially worried about the single player aspect of the game since the previous game that I had a lot of fun in was co-op based. After my first couple of hours though, I felt right at home. The gameplay loop is simple yet engaging and hell of a fun. You kill bugs that get in your way as you mine resource ores and complete objectives set by the mining company for that delve, which nets you XP that is used for upgrading your gear. As you delve deeper and deeper into the caves of Hoxes, you collect a devastating array of guns and unleash hell on wave after wave of alien bugs in beautiful, beautiful chaos. Now, the caves which are procedurally generated share very similar themes. Your goal is to make it back to the drop pod in one piece after completing the delve objective and miss the screen filled with a swarm of bugs. If you don't make it back in time though, the drop pod leaves without you. Each delve has five subterrain stages for which the last has you squaring off against a huge humongous dreadnought. Now, you start with just one class, the scout, but as you progress, you build to unlock the remaining three classes, which is the gunner, the driller, and the engineer, each with their own flair. There are about 40 weapons in the game, 20 enemy types, and three distinct subterrain biomes. There's a deep progression system of class mods, artifacts, and weapon upgrades. Delightfully, the game runs very well, and I was able to play the game with no hiccups on my Steam Deck and Lenovo Legion Go. This is a perfect pick up and play game for a quick session, and so yes, this is a buy. The devs have also promised even more content and features as the game nears release, and I can't wait to delve more into games. Rock and stone, baby! Rock and stone!